Welcome to stormy Massachusetts, yet again. It is rainy, it is windy, and the rain is so obnoxiously loud that I actually was sitting here a moment ago saying, oh my sweet lord, that rain is obnoxiously loud. But it's a perfect day to be indoors, nice and dry and cozy, and painting something cold and aquatic. And it's actually not cold in here at all, I'm just wearing a hat because I have terrible ponytail hair and I have about this much ambition to do my own hair. I'm Lydia Broderick and welcome to my channel! So this is the acrylic pour that I'm going to be working with and it sort of reminds me of, you know how like deep in the dark ocean there are bioluminescent creatures? That's kind of what this reminded me of and so of course I started thinking of what if there were bioluminescent aquatic humans? Because my mind is dark and strange like the ocean. Probably a lot of cephalopods and maybe a little sea sponge that wears square pants and lives in a pineapple. Why does that sound oddly familiar? Hmm. So, in order to get started with this, I do have to lighten up some of these areas, but I don't want to use an opaque acrylic paint in order to do that, so I am going to experiment yet again. What am I experimenting with? This is a pearl paint and it is iridescent so it's all over my hand. I clearly just opened that not long ago and now my hand is quite sparkly. It's okay, it's non-toxic. <laughs> it's fine. Just kidding. Um, so anything that's iridescent is sort of transparent. So in order to lighten this area up so that I can actually have a face and then use hopefully transparent oil paints to bring a little bit of color into the old gal, um, young gal, it's not actually going to be an old person. That's for my next painting. <laughs> and the whole point of doing something with an iridescent paint versus an opaque paint is basically because I don't want to cover up the whole entire pore. If I didn't explain that. I... Sometimes I don't explain things good. Hmm. We'll get started now. Stop talking. Okay. Well, if you ever want to learn how to paint a bioluminescent aquatic human, 
I'm your gal. I think this went remarkably well. There were a couple moments that I was really unsure of what I was doing and I know that I have a tendency to not be necessarily conventional in my approach to anything. Um, but I just go with what's in my head. I'm pretty happy with this. I think it came out really well. Um, I like her. She's got a nice bluish glow to her. It's like a cross between Avatar and... Can't think what I would compare. And yeah, I don't know. Something, something like an underwater Avatar character, maybe? Oh, I know, I know. It'd be like a cross between Avatar and a mermaid who can glow or glows who glows who emits light underwater just just go just go with it it's fine yeah thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the like button please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and I will see you next time love you guys bye that went well. Totally nailed it. I mean, I, I'm not... I can't say that I'm normal. Oh, it was just... a little bit of mimicry there. The lights keep flickering and I find that somewhat ominous. Ah, oh, something in my eye.